back in my kitchen again and today it's a very cold day. So I thought I would make tomato soup for dinner tonight. Now, how I'm making my tomato soup, I'm going to roast some tomatoes and I'm going to add tomato, diced tomatoes that are in a can. But I'm going to be using my pressure cooker because that infuses those flavors more intensely than cooking on a stove top or anything of that nature. And it only takes about 10 minutes to cook on in my pressure cooker, which is awesome. But I am going to start out with um, roasting some of my tomatoes with garlic, red onions, some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper. And I roast that for about 20 minutes and get that all nice and juicy and flavorful and we're going to add that to intensify that flavor. We're just going to chop up this onion here. It's going to be kind of in big, bigger chunks because we're going to roast the onions. And we are using purple or red onions. It adds, provides a sweeter flavor to your soup. I've already peeled and kind of beat with my knife, the back of my knife some garlic so the garlic's already ready and then we will be taking our tomatoes and we're going to take the stem out and the stem isn't very big it's just it's kind of small just core each tomato And then we're going to be cutting all those tomatoes in half. And one of the tomatoes is kind of big, so I'm going to cut that one in fourth. And now we are going to add all of our little veggies to the pan. Throw on those onions and bring on the garlic. We're going to add some olive oil. Some pepper. Some salt and some balsamic vinegar. And then we're going to toss it around till it's well mixed. And then we're going to stick it in the Breville on the roasting setting for about 20 minutes. Then it'll look great. So now that the veggies are roasting, I'm going to go ahead and prep my green pepper and I've already prepped the onions for this week. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop everything up since it's out. And this little thing is just so much fun to use and so quick. I just love it. And pretty much there you go. A whole green pepper done in seconds. Just love it. So I'll just keep that in the fridge for this week. I've already got my um, my onions done. See? So we have the veggies in the Breville at 425. Okay, this part starts to get fast. So um, what we're going to start to do is add our ingredients to the pressure cooker. We're going to start off with some olive oil. Just throw that on in there. It just helps everything from sticking. And um, then we're going to add some vegetable stock. We're going to just add the whole box. I was going to measure it out, but that's ridiculous. Just add the whole thing. Just pour it all in there. And 
and that's about good. So then we're, we're going to add our stewed tomatoes and these are the Italian stewed tomatoes so it's going to add a little bit more of that Italian flavor to the tomato soup. And now we're going to add our roasted tomatoes and onions and garlic. We're just going to scoot that all in there. We're going to add every single juice that came from this pan. And just push it all in there. And that's all that extra added flavor. Okay, we're going to start adding our spices now. We're going to add some basil and some Italian seasoning. Shake some of that excess off. Throw it in there. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more basil. Now it's time for some pepper. and some, some red pepper flakes. That provides that little kick that it needs. All right, let's get some of this mess out of here. Now we're just gonna mix it up get all those flavors together. This is the soup before it's cooked. It's got all your spices, your tomatoes, your onions, your garlic. All right, got the lid on, make sure it's sealed. Now we're gonna set to manual pressure and we're gonna decrease the minutes. Just keep going down until you reach about eight minutes. Then it's gonna when it comes to pressure, we're gonna have a um, natural release. So we're just waiting for a natural release. That takes a few um, minutes to get there, and we've gotten there. It's been about 15 minutes. We're just going to take the lid off and oh it smells good. You can smell all those spices and seasonings. It smells wonderful. So this is my immersion blender. It's really great. It has this silicone seal at the bottom so that you can put it in a pan that has um, any type of non-stick coating and it won't scratch this, the surface of it. So I'm really excited to use it. Um, I haven't used it for any soups lately, so this will be my first experience with this. I was really concerned it might splatter, but it's doing a really good job. This, this is, it's doing a great job. I just can't believe how, how good this is working. <laughs> And it's 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 almost done. It's it's got a little bit more, and then done. This thing is so cool.
It is so good. I cannot believe how great this thing is. It's my immersion blender is the best. It is just, you know, emulsifying these tomatoes. They are gone. They are just nothing. And oh yes, I did add some sour cream. So now I'm mixing that all in there. It is just <laughs> so fun to use. It is so amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, now the moment of truth. We're going to take, detach this little blade thingy and put that in the sink. And there it is. All right, I'm going to sample this tomato soup. It is very good. And it is perfect for those cold days that you need something warm. I hope you enjoyed.